Hey guys, now this is the video everybody was waiting for. It shows the final step of forming the Hakuna Mipaka Lion Pride. It is all exclusive content, nobody has ever seen it. It is extremely exciting, inspiring, educating and I hope you guys will have fun watching it. I personally will watch this video with you right now and talk you guys through the entire process. We're gonna do the very first introduction right now. Nyla is gonna come over into this section of the baby camp while Kiara and Khaleesi are in the top part of the baby camp. I cleaned out both of them and today they're gonna meet for the first time. Step number one was to separate Nyla from the rest of the pride because once she meets Kiara and Khaleesi, I want her to be alone and to be herself and I'll have too much backup from the boys. All right, now this is the very first time where she saw the two ladies and actually the first time she saw two lionesses in her life. In the beginning, it actually went quite well. She was just very curious. The little ones, they straight away wanted some love and affection while she wasn't really sure if this is a good thing going on here or not. And then after a few minutes, all of a sudden, she turned around and kind of attacked them. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, we just witnessed some type of dominance and aggression towards them. I now wanna go over there to show Nyla that they are part of our family and that I'm cool with them. Maybe this is gonna change something, all right? Let's check it out. All right, so that was it now for now. For the next two to three days, the plan is to keep it exactly the way it is now. And with the time, Nyla will realize that Kiara and Khaleesi are the only lions in the environment she can socialize with. So as I thought, only two days later already, Nyla's behavior completely changed. I did spend a lot of time with both of them and they, they saw that we are actually supposed to be one family. So both raised the desire to socialize with one another. So after seeing this, I decided straight away to open the gate and introduce them to one another. Let us open up this gate. I think that's the only right thing to do now. You guys gonna be sisters for life. It's all okay. So such introductions are always combined with aggression, with some slaps and bites, because nobody wants to be the submissive one in such situations. You can also clearly see that Nyla isn't really sure about what to do. She always comes back to me uh, to get some backup, making sure that I got her back in case something goes down. It's a little bitch fight, that's how it happens. And But in the end of the day, we are super, super, super happy and excited that this worked out <laughs> that this worked out so well um, after only three days actually and the signs are super good i mean uh, i'm really happy really excited we extended our family yeah we did and the first feeding session with the ladies was actually a key point in building the relationship with one another. Because once we are sitting on the same table eating a meal together, humans, same as animals, that's where you get to know one another a little bit better. And especially with lines, that's where you will know where are the limits, how far can I go and what is allowed or not. So Leo's introduction to the ladies was pretty chilled and I was super happy about that. I mean, he's the brother of Nyla and since he was anyway the only male in this situation, he didn't really feel uh, threatened by the ladies. Alright, so Leo spent now 24 hours right next to the ladies in the camp next to them. There was zero aggression. Uh, positive body language and now it's the time to introduce them to one another. Faster. Where are you going bro? Where are you going my boy? Oh. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Yeah there we go. 
of course there was one or the other situation where he had to show dominance and to make clear listen i'm the boss here i'm taking over now but this is absolutely natural <laughs> And the next one to join the pride was Snow, the gentle giant. His character is just unique and he's just such an amazing lion. Now, same as with the other introductions, Snow got first the opportunity to meet them through the fence. Yeah, it looks like you're already accepted. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It looks like he knows them. It's kind of, he trusts Leo and this is why they're cool. I think this is, this must be love at the first sight. Can't explain it any different. Only love can do something like this. And after a certain period of time and seeing that the body language was amazing, we introduced them to one another. So the moment they met each other first time without the fence in between was just magical. There was zero aggression in between and everybody knew his position where they belonged to. And as I suspected, this was pretty much the easiest introduction of all of them. And last but not least, King Dexter. Now it's time to introduce the king to his pride. These are your brothers, bro. <laughs> Hello. So as soon as we opened up the gate, the first reaction was happiness. He was happy to see other lines again, his actual family, as well as the two new ladies. But shortly after that, he realized now is the moment where he has to show everybody that he's in charge. Now is the moment that he has to prove that he's the king. Yeah, families united. There's absolutely no aggression in between them. You can see there will be little fights, little rankings, just to make clear again who is who. You can see now he's going a little bit harder, but obviously they know each other. Um, Kiara is uh, checking out Dexter, as you can see. Now since him and his brothers, Snow and Leo, know exactly where they are standing, he started to basically show dominance towards the ladies. And the first ones were the new ones, the young ones, which is Kiara and Khaleesi. But Dexter doesn't feel bothered by them at all. Easy. It's okay, it's okay. Nothing serious is gonna happen. Nyla is going right in between. That was an amazing turn from Nyla just to make sure that they will be okay. Khaleesi is fine as well. You're my boy! <laughs> now what we can see in this footage here is actually absolutely Future. natural and normal. It sounds pretty hard, it is pretty hard and aggressive, mm -hmm. but this is just part of being a lion. So after a certain period of time, um, the actual previous pride of Dexter, which is Nyla, Leo and Snow, decided to choose the side of Dexter. And now it was those four against Kiara and Khaleesi, which is absolutely not a good situation. This is why I decided to separate them again. So I decided to separate Dexter, Kiara and Khaleesi into one camp from the other ones, which will be right next to them. So now Dexter is forced to build a bond with Kiara and Khaleesi because they're the only ones he can interact with. And once I achieve them to become a little pride, a little family, it's gonna be super easy to add the other ones to them. And it happened exactly the way I suspected. Dexter started bonding with the ladies and once they became a little family themselves, I introduced the rest of the pride to them and finally that became the Hakuna Mipaka Lion Pride as you guys know it today.
you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see what's next then make sure to subscribe my youtube channel right now and if you want to see more content you're so welcome to follow my other socials as well thank you so much for watching and see you guys later